Hi everybody, welcome back to 30 Days Until Done. I'm John Branningham. Uh, sorry for the delay from, from the last time. It's been 10 days or something. Um, and the truth is that usually when I'm doing these, I um, have months and months of prep time. And I, I didn't have prep time then because we just switched everything all the last time. So I'm having to figure this out as we go. So I've been trying to figure out, okay, so what's the most effective thing to do at this point? And I think at this point, um, motivating ourselves and, and clarifying the problems for ourselves is probably the, the most useful. There are some letter writing things that we can do. Um, and there's always the letter writing things you can do, which is uh, letters of protest. Um, those are, um, to some degree, very effective. There are obviously there are problems with the, the, their effectiveness. There's always going to be problems with the effectiveness of whatever you're writing, right? Even George Orwell was, was ineffective with a lot of people. Um, so. So what, what are we going to do today? We're going to help to clarify what this is to us, and, and we, we help make some, some good art. Um, so we're going to start off with uh, either short story or poetry, whichever you want to do. I'm going to work with a short, short story, and you're going to take whatever problem you're dealing with and make that a part of the story, right? Um, and I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to post mine as well. Um, what, what, whatever problem you have, you, you, you're going to make that a part of the story. However, for your characters, it's a secondary problem. Uh, now here's the problem. Uh, if you're writing, if you're writing art that is meant to be, and by the way, we're not going to just be doing art. We're going to be doing direct letters and that that kind of thing. We're going to make this as effective as humanly possible. But for now, that's just to clarify for ourselves. We're going to be working on art, um, and so so it, it, the problem the problem that we have is that if you have a bad story, nobody's going to read it. And a bad story is going to happen is if your story is about a political position, right? The political position, whatever you have, has to be a secondary in the mind of your character or secondary in the placement of the poem. So if you've got the, the, the a poem um, and you're, you're really worried about, um, uh, say, women's rights, um, uh, a poem about, you know, women should have rights is not going to be as effective as a poem showing somebody whose rights are being trampled upon, right? Uh, so a direct prose sort of address is generally less effective than getting us into the mind of a character who's having to deal with something that, that's going on. So the character, let's say, say you were dealing with women's rights, uh, the character, say, wants to get some information about birth control um, or, I don't know, wants to pay equity, right? Wants to, wants to be paid. Um, the character's not thinking, oh my goodness, I wish that I could have pay equity. The character is thinking, um, my children are hungry, right? Um, and all of this stuff is happening in the background. That's effective, right? Because we start to empathize, we start to, to sympathize with the character. So that's what you're doing. I'm going to be working on the environment. Um, so uh, I'll probably be working on a story with Harrison, my, my favorite character. And uh, I'm thinking I'm going to be dealing with, um, um, what do you call this, uh, global warming. And uh, so there, there are those in this world who think that global warming doesn't exist. Um, it, it's, it's very, very hard to deny, however, that pika are be becoming extinct. Um, I'm sorry, pika. It's Pikachu who's you know named after a pika. Uh, the pika are becoming extinct, and the reason they're becoming extinct is they have to, they, there's the little rabbit, uh, sort of a cross between a squirrel and a mole and a rabbit, uh, it lives at very, very high altitudes. Um, and the reason it lives at high altitudes is it's got a, it, it, it's a creature that whose temperature runs very warm. Uh, very hot, uh, and it has to keep going up and up the the, the, the mountain in order to to uh, find cool weather. And they've been watching the pika go up and up and up the mountain, and now in the high Sierra, they're just about along the peaks, and they have nowhere else to go. And so it looks like they're going to become extinct simply because they've run out of room. They've run out of cool weather. Um, and so, okay, so my hair, my my character Harrison isn't going to, that's not what he's thinking about. I mean, it's probably part of what he's thinking about, but on a day-to-day -day basis, that's not his scene goal. His scene goal is to do whatever else. Um, and th that pika is going to exist in the background. Uh, they have this really wonderful little um, uh, call. Uh, and so I'm, I'm guessing, it's very, very rare to see them. I'm guessing Harrison's going to come through the area, and then he's going to hear that, that uh, pika call. So what are you going to do? Um, now, if you'd like to, you can down below uh, talk about what it is, wh what media medium you're going to work in, and what idea you're going to get across, and what we can say we can we can spitball some ideas. Obviously, they're not going to be the best ideas. The best I the best that we can do is kind of inspire you. Um, but uh, th this, th if you're looking for a little inspiration, a little guidance, talk about what we're doing. And it might be another week before I'm back on online here. So uh, this will be uh, something to work on in that time. 
Okay, so, uh, but I will get back as soon as I can. It's right during finals now, so it's, 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 it's difficult. Although, I haven't found a part of the semester that isn't difficult. Um, so, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, when you're done with that, put it down below, and I'll see you tomorrow, or I'll see you soon on 30 Days Until Done.